Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Today we're taking a break from the campaign to head into the lovely workshop where previously I asked you guys to make me some worlds. So if we come up to search and we type in the tag RCE, we've then got a whole load of worlds. Oh my goodness, seven pages of worlds that you guys have made for me. So let's have a go at, I guess, let's have a go at this one. Paddy's vacation day. Let's keep Paddy safe and not let him drive off the edge after guessing the flag. We got a whole load of budget and a whole load of materials just what i like to see and for those wondering paddy is my black labrador who has his own youtube channel full of various shenanigans and you can get your very own paddy in a santa hat that will be delivered before christmas making it an ideal gift for any dog lover boost the link in my description for more details on that but anyway what have we got here so we've got matt and paddy in the g-wagon and if we zoom in you'll see paddy is actually driving <laughs> Look at him with his hard hat and his glasses on. So yeah, he's going on vacation. So it looks like we've got to get down there, then over to there. Okay, that seems that seems quite simple. Not gonna lie. So I'll let you just go down like that, back up the other side, and truss it all up as well. I'm not too worried about budget. I will do it out of wood, but I think that should be strong enough. Just about. So he gets there, he turns around, comes back back and then oh no what happens now what happens now oh there's a whole there's a whole load of level oh there's the flag so yeah all the way up here. oh man that's miles away so we got to get up there on the way back uh the question is how do i want to hydraulic this bridge up because what i could do i could like rotate this if i draw bridge it up to like there oh i'll tell you what yeah i think i think that's what we're doing here so let's get rid of you we'll just truss on the top for this i probably need to make these a bit stronger because they're gonna have to support themselves i need to get get rid of the under support on that side as well so nice big trusses there we go then under here we shove hydraulic i reckon probably up to there expand all the way make that a split joint oh there's no split joint oh come on man fair there's there's no split joints okay so another way of doing oh that's so annoying i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so annoying right um if we can make that tall enough for the g-wagon to fit under i guess we can cat flap it i mean i could potentially just bring this up so there i mean there's a volcano in the way so i can't even see it but can the G-Wagon get under? Yes, it can. And then when it goes back, can it drive up? Yes, it can. So that means all I need to do is do a bridge from there over to there. Curve that down. Fill it with road. And then push. All right, then we've just got to support this. I imagine going underneath is probably the best bet. I'll come around here. I think I'm going to need to support this in the middle, like from here. Maybe I can use... Steel. Steel doesn't quite reach. Let's try a bit of that for now then. Then over this side, it gets a little bit complicated because there's no nodes. So what I'm going to have to do is like shove that on there to try and hold it. I can't build on top of that. I mean, maybe I can bring this wall brace up. Yeah, perhaps something like that will work. Let's press play and see. It's strong enough for now. But oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, the positive, we haven't actually used these these supports under there so we can add wall braces like that that should make everything a bit stronger i might actually turn the stress on just so i can see what's going on come on paddy come on you're in a g-wagon you got the power let's turn up the speed i don't think they have the power what if i make these a lot smaller All right how's that yeah that's good that's good okay question is can we drive up that though because it is ah yeah i was gonna say it's not as strong oh look at that it's like a purpley material underneath is that the strongest shape as well is that an easter egg that's got to be an easter egg all right so i need this to be a bit stronger i feel like just making the the middle bit wider just so it can support but still allow the g-wagon underneath all right so ready ready come on come on yes okay they made it they made it so, oh they didn't make it <laughs> so what broke there you i mean i could just truss this up a bit more Do over that side as well i may need like another another support there just so the weight up here comes down into that wall brace a bit easier all right did that make the bridge stronger oh yeah it did yeah it did okay so now we're up to here and then we go for a swim no now where do we get oh yeah up oh mate that is so tall can the G-Wagon get up a hill that steep? Like, I know the G-Wagon is the best vehicle ever made. Like, it's, it's got a song about it. But that seems like a very steep hill. Anyway, let's boosh that into position. And then we can add the last bit of road. Why are there nodes down there? Oh, is it the last part? 
let's keep Paddy safe and not let him drive off the edge after getting the flag. Okay, so once we've done this bridge, that's like, we need to do that. We can't just, we can't just let Matt and Paddy fall to their doom. They're on vacation. Um, I think for this bridge though, I'm gonna, I may just steal it up. Yes, you might boo that, but I think it's sensible. So I'm gonna put the trusses in, in wood first, just cause it, it gets the size a bit better. Then with those in, I will just steal should I do everything or should I just do like, we'll just try that for now. We've got some nodes down here, so it should probably come up. I mean, I've got to do it in steel. It's so far away. So we'll do like that sort of thing. This end, we need that support. So let's do, we may need cable there. Just hold that. It's going to be a lot of weight. Now I have a feeling this will collapse like right because all the weight is just going to go, well, sort of over this middle bit. So we'll press play it might be okay it's a little bit stressed already but let's just see you really get the scale when you finally see the g-wagon but does it have the power it does have the power the stress is oh the stress is okay i think i may have done this so yeah it looks like they will get to the top but i've forgotten i've forgotten the, the safety barrier wait 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 no, no, no. don't let your kids watch it uh what i'm gonna do though i reckon if i go from this node and then i go that way with Springs. Wait, do I want springs? No, let's 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 go with cable. And then I think I just want like a ramp that goes up like that, maybe? Is that gonna work? I may need another cable from the top down to that node as well. But right, is this gonna work? So they go up the ramp and yes, they're safe. Lovely. Let's have a look in the gallery at anyone else that completed this. I don't know how how many people will have. Just three. Oh yeah, they did a cat flap. They did a much cheaper cat flap though. This one they used steel like I did. Oh look, they did. They actually did road like along the entire top because then I guess it means you can make this ramp at the end like you can make it really weak just out of wood. Yeah, that's that's cool. This one, oh, they did a cat flap there. That's quite interesting. And this must be like one of the cheapest ways of doing this. 99 grand. It's all made out of wood and it's pretty rickety as well. Can't believe they got that bit made out of wood. That is impressive. And then at the end, their ramp. Oh, it's a wood cable. And then it's got a little spring in there just to uh just to prevent anything breaking. Good job. This one, 10 grand cheaper. And it's the Nifty sponsored solution. Nifty, because we've had such a long partnership, I knew that Nifty would support Matt and Paddy's vacation. They do everything within their means to ensure we have a good time. And not only doing it for the cheapest amount, but also putting safety first. And they, they've killed us. We're, we're not supporting Nifty anymore. The partnership's over. It's over. All right, that was, that was a lot of fun. Let's go on to another level. There's a lot of Paddy love down here. Like this one is called a Paddy's tail. Oh, no way. He's actually made Paddy in his hard hat. You may have to make a Christmas version now, but that is awesome. So what have we got? We start up here. Why is there, why is there a bit of wood there? If I press play. Oh my good. Okay. Ow. Okay. That is why. <laughs> that is why. So yeah, we've got a, I think we basically just got to build a bridge all the way along. Oh no, look. There's a, why is there a star down there? There's a star down there. Look at these paddies though. But yeah, right. I think I'm just going to go along and get all the bits of road in that I need. So for you guys, you're just going to see like a load of bush, 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 bush. All right. So I think this is what my bridge needs to look like. Uh, so now I just need to um try and support this. So I imagine lots of steel will be needed. I will attempt to use wood and probably like cables. I think cables could be quite useful here because whilst we got that, we can just do ropes or cables like to the middle sort of thing. So if we do that, yeah, that is strong enough for that one. Lovely. We then need some sort of bridge here. Now we have a load of supports up top. So possibly again, I think wood and rope are your friend on this one. Although this could get expensive. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a lot of rope. It may be worth coming down to this rock like a little support up because uh, whilst that is working, I imagine... Whoa, dear. <laughs> yeah, that's not ideal. And I didn't realize how much speed we had. So we may want to try and like curve this a bit just to try and prevent the the jumping happen so much. So how's that? I've added a lot more rope. Oh, the speed, the speed. Oh, it made it. It made it. Okay, so now just one more, one more bridge to go. Let's see. Can I do this entire thing in just wood and rope? So we got nodes above, which are going to be very useful. So let's just rope up. So like all of those. And then we'll see, is this final bridge strong enough? Looking good. Looking good. Oh, the speed. <laughs> 
the speed at which we turned around. This could be bad, though. I forgot to do the lump on this side. Is it too much of a jump? No, we're good. We're good. Oh, Matt and Paddy off flying. Oh, wait. Where do we end up? Oh, down. Wait, down there. Board roll down to that point. And then, oh, look, the flag's under there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is what we like to see mid-level. Some RCE propaganda. That is required to complete this. But yeah, right. We got big old rocks in the way. I feel like we're going to have to sort of, I don't know, do something like that. The trouble is the amount of speed we had coming down here, not ideal at all. The rope and wood might be out the window. We're going to need springs down here to catch this. Shove springs in like that. All right, and assuming that can support itself, it may work. It probably won't. I feel like it'll probably just snap. But we have the RCE propaganda on our side. Let's see what happens. Oh, we did it. Yes, we did it. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, let's have a look in the gallery. I did it for 186 grand. Oh, this person did it for 275. Let's have a look at their bridge. They use a lot of steel in theirs. Very pricey. They still have to use the rope to support as well. Look at the little paddies in the air. They're so cute. Right, what happens at the end here? So they, did they use springs? Oh yeah, they use a lot of springs. Oh, theirs is very bouncy. Anyway, that was quite a cool level. Uh, but I've been distracted by this one over here. Cave Escape. I haven't seen anything to do with caves so far. It's like a level of Super Mario or something. The cave is very unstable. You must escape. We got 250 grand. There is a hydraulic phase at the start. Do I like that or do I not? So what have we got? There is a star there we need to get to. I can see RCE propaganda up the top. Oh boy, it all falls down. Uh, how much do these things weigh? So one polygram for the rocks, five for the letters. I'm wondering, rather than doing all this hydraulic malarkey, can I just like support that? Like we don't want to lose the RC propaganda. If it falls down, I feel like that's that's a fail straight up. Um, we can't just build down here. Oh, wait, what? What? I can't build in the cave? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, okay. They've just... <laughs> okay, they've put that node like on, on an object which collides with a road. But don't worry, I can build like right next to it. Okay, that's fine. So I think what I'll do, I'll get my, my bridge in down here. So we've got to go through the start. So we'll push that into place. And then basically, I was going to do a bridge like that. But obviously, ouch, that all lands on its head. So what I'm thinking, we build a big platform up like that. I've then got to put road up here because they collide with all these and then we've just got to try and support that right so i don't know how heavy this is gonna be but oh my goodness okay quite heavy quite heavy is the answer maybe we need some can i cable like to the top yeah that'll work so we can try supporting more like that oh man <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so how is that? Oh, the right side is getting mullered. Let's try and straighten these up a little bit. Is it because there's a kadonk? If we watch this in super slow motion. Yeah, look on the right. So if we look here, look. Okay, what we may need are springs. If I just bring up all these nodes, then I can just replace these top ones with springs. Oh, they actually push out. Can you see they're overlapping? Okay, so I don't think we can have cables. Uh, we may be able to put springs from the top, though. That could be could be an idea. Yeah, obviously, I think hydraulics is the way to actually do this level properly. I'm just... The way I engineer is do everything I can to avoid hydraulics. So let's have a look at that. If I then just do some springs from above, like that sort of thing. I mean, actually, actually, if I just get rid of all this steel completely, bring all of this up. Can we not just use this as like a net? All right, so basically there's little boulders on the left side that keep doing that. So I think what I need to do, I need to sort of build a bridge that sort of goes, I think this is getting in the way. I see why that's there now. I gotta do a bridge that goes over it, like that sort of thing. I don't want the boulder to land on the bridge, but I've also gotta sort of try and get the G-Wagon to, oh, it broke. Try and get the G-Wagon to land on the bridge below without doing that. All right, how's that? Because then the rocks can go down. Oh no, one rock's on my bridge. It broke my bridge. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you what, I feel like just making... I think I take back what I said earlier. I need a flexible bridge. I mean, alternatively, maybe I can just catch more of these. So if I just make that wider, then what does that... Oh no, I've just blocked my path. I've blocked my path. Maybe I could cable this side so it stays up. Yeah, that works. That works way better. Okay, so now I can literally connect these bits of road together. Delete all the springs over this side. Then I just need the road to go over that. And then, then we're good. Oh no, there's rocks down this side as well. All right, one more cable. <laughs> okay, so a rock on the right escapes. One on the left 
nearly does, but it's just about safe. We get that. Can we get off this ledge onto our wheels? Damn it. Right, if I just put road there, that should be fine fine. Oh, the boulder landed on it and destroyed everything. Where does that boulder land? Oh, you knob. No, let's just spring up those two. So boulder suspension. Oh, you knobs. Okay, how's that? I've steeled up everything. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, this bridge is an absolute mess. But uh, building a bridge inside a cave, harder than I thought it would be. Okay, come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. Oh, you it landed on its wheels, but the bridge failed. All right, a little bit more reinforcing. And then finally, we did it. We built a bridge inside a cave. I spent 166 grand on mine. What did the only other person that do this? Oh, and they called me a noob. <laughs> So 94 grand. What? Actually, what? Hang on, let's watch that from the start. So they just embrace everything falling. They do have hydraulics. Look at the carnage. <laughs> I think mine actually makes more sense than this one. So that goes up there. Then it drops down onto the flag. I have no idea how they don't have any brakes. That is incredible. No, anyway, the next one we're going to do is called Defend the Engineers. So real civil engineer versus fake countryside architect. <laughs> so what do we have? <laughs> Are you on Team Red, Architect, or are you over here on Team Blue, Engineer? So what actually happens with this? So we got loads of Architect vehicles. They've got a ramp, and they just absolutely bomb it. No respect for anyone. They crash into the G-Wagon. What are they doing to the G-Wagon? I know it's a nice vehicle, but you can't just do that. <laughs> you see Paddy looking out the window like, Oi, mate, what are you doing, you Architect? Oh, look over here. There's a cat. Anyway, unfortunately... The tug of war between Team Architect and Team Engineer didn't end well for the engineers. But that is what I am here for. So it looks like I can only build in this little square. Uh, and we need, we need a way to prevent them pushing us so that we can get to just those flags. Okay, got it. Got it. Um, I guess then, can I just do like a quarter pipe? I don't have springs, so I'm not entirely sure how this will go. <laughs> Look at them coming over. So there's the tractor. Tractor goes up. Oh no. Oh no. Tractor went over. Oh, it's okay though. I've stopped the tractor. I ha oh my goodness. Okay, monster truck has some serious power. I think what I may want to do is sort of oh, ideally get it so that the, the tractor rolls backwards. Wait, he's having, he's having another run-up. He's having another run-up. That's no good. Oh, no. They smashed straight through it. No, Matt and Paddy. Because, yeah, if I could build over this, I'd just build, like, a bridge so they go over us. But I think stopping them is the only thing I can do here. I do have cable, so I could stop some of this breaking, perhaps. All right, let's have a try with this. So, tractor, roll backwards. You've got to stop your mate going up. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man, the architects have a lot of power. I had no idea they had this much power. All right, more support at the back. Then let's see whether that works. <laughs> so here they come. We know that that rolls over. It's just this part where it all goes wrong. Boosh. All right, snaps a cable. But we've... Oh, my. Censor that, editor. Sense. Don't put lovey music to it. Editor, have some respect, man. But if we leave those doing that, I think if we just speed up time... That should give us... Yeah, it gives us time to get to the flags. We did it. Team Engineer wins. And let's have a look in the gallery. So... Oh, there you go. They did exactly the same as me. Although their ramp was much more effective. Uh, this one, what did they do? Oh, I can't even see what they did. But uh, it worked. And this one cost 900 quid. So it's just that tiny bit of road there. It's like a road block. Like a speed hump, but completely ruined them. Fair play, Charles. I did it for 37 grand. You did it for 900 quid. <laughs> right, well, anyway, I'll try and get through more of these at some point in the future. Thanks so much for making them absolutely incredible. Don't forget to check out the Santa Paddy as well. Uh, yes, it is the summer still, but you, you want to get them delivered before Christmas, remember? For now, I'll say peace, love, and Paddy, bye!